Hello, welcome to Options Brew TV. I am your host, Lex. And today we have with us Ankur Mohan from Market XLS. Is that right, Ankur? Did I get all that right? Hi, Lex. Yep, you got it right. Absolutely. Okay, I, I, I can mess up anything, so I want to make sure I get it right. Good to see you. How's everything? Good to see you too, Lex. Everything is great. How are you? How's I'm everything? Doing- Everything's great. Anchor Market XLS, you are an integrated partner, let's call it, with Trade Year, I think, right? And you've yep. got a great platform that you're going to tell us about today. Yeah. Um, so why don't you have added a little bit? Tell us a little bit about yourself and the company and, you know, your vision, all that kind of good stuff. And I think we're going to get into some uh, some slides and what have you. So excited. Yep. Good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for uh, hosting us. So, sure. you know, so I've been trading and investing from 2005, you know, so it's been quite some time now. I trade options and uh, stocks and uh, forex. Uh, in 2011, I moved to UK where I was in the city, you know, working with, uh, uh, you know, I used to attend all the meetups about trading and investing. And one theme which I could find everywhere was everyone was looking, was using, first of all, Excel. And they were all about, you know, how do I get the right information and data points in their Excel, right? Mm -hmm. So, so I started developing tools to make sure that this data and the analytics is available in an Excel in an easy way for my friends and, you know, for family members and for myself, you know, and I realized that uh, they really liked it. So in 2016, uh, I started, I founded company Market XLS with the help of a grant from Enterprise Ireland. And uh, it's it has been great, you know, so we got a lot of feedback from our initial users and we worked on that feedback. And I'm pleased to say that uh, in 2020, we crossed like 5,000 users who have used the product and, you know, they really like it. And the key idea is we want to make sure that you don't spend time in collecting information and just you know but but you spend more time in your 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 research you know and creating financial models so right. in 2021 you know we got another round of funding and with which you know we are uh, doing uh, uh, adding more and more value to the platform and uh, thanks to that funding round we are uh, partnering with companies like yourself and tradier and mm-hmm. you know we are adding uh, more partnerships and adding more value to our users, you know, and yeah. we are also participating in the money show on uh, the May of 7th, 7th of May, where uh, we will be, you know, showcasing our platform and I'll be talking about how would you use Excel and leverage the power and the flexibility that Excel provides to make sure you can make better decisions, you know, and yeah. how you become more productive in your trading and investing and you know, everything to do with portfolio monitoring, tracking mm-hmm. your positions and the kind of flexibility that Excel provides is amazing. And I think uh, it, it, it's just wise to use, uh, leverage that power, you know, uh, sure. when it comes to investing and trading. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, so uh, I've seen the platform. I love it. It looks great. Um, and I, I like the fact that you 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 used Excel as, as sort of the basis, right, to to you know, extract your information so that people can make tradable decisions. So I think we're going to see some of this too. You're going to share a screen and show us. Yeah. So this is really very cleverly done, I think. Um, And, you know, we, we, uh, we really like this. So do you want to, you want to do that now? If you use Excel, Mm -hmm. which everyone does, you know, when it comes to trading and investing, we are there to help, you know, and, you don't have to worry about collecting information. Not everyone is a coder. You don't have to go to various websites to scrape the scrape information. You can stream real time data directly in your spreadsheets. The data remains in your spreadsheets, secured in your computers, and not on the cloud. Mm-hmm. Whenever you open it, you know it's all fresh. You know, uh, and and uh, multiple stocks and a lot of data. You know, with Excel, we are able to. We have created. Uh, we spend a lot of time and efforts to make sure, you know, your sheets are stable. You can stream real-time data directly from exchanges. And we have made, you know, hundreds of templates and functions, you know, to achieve that purpose, right? Mm-hmm. And so how do we do it? So we stream data directly from stock markets. We enrich it. Now, 
because there are thousands of functions it's so difficult to find what you're looking for you know so essentially we have also created like an ai driven knowledge search right you you just search for what you're looking for and the system will tell you the pertinent data sets or you know the functions which you can be you can be using you know sure hundreds of customizable templates you know you can use our templates to create professional and institutional level screens and models very very consistent uh, templates not only they tell you uh, not only they give you an ability to use them mm -hmm. but also they tell you why you would use them why you would use them, uh, the templates you know and i'm going to show you some of the templates as we go along and recently with the, the partnership with the trader we have allowed the ability to send trade tickets directly to your trading platform you know uh, mm -hmm. trader in this case and i'll show you an example again and the idea is you don't want to you know do data entry right one click minimal chances of error because everything is configured in your excel and in your template and it's there in your trading platform mm -hmm. very good yeah so these are you know the hundreds of uh, thousands of functions you know that pre-built functions they work like normal excel functions like you would use the sum function or average function and in this case you know we have various guru screen functions as well so let's say you don't want you know you want to find out the stocks that kathy woods is uh would, would probably select from her criteria right sure so we have spent all that time and effort to collect uh the logics you know logics in place and with easy to use excel functions you can uh, just get the stocks, you know, the filtered stocks. So we not only find, we not only help you uh, save your time and being more productive when you're doing investment research, but also we help you find opportunities in the market with our templates, basically. Mm -hmm. right? nice. And the common theme which I found was, you know, I mean, you look at various uh, charting platforms and many things are like you know too standard you know like rsi 7 or sma 50 you know but what if you want sma 51 you know sure or maybe rsi 9 for example right so we created the customizable functions where with one single argument you can actually get you know uh, go in depth and you know not only you can get a number but a series of data sets in excel the way you want it you know which is which is very flexible. You can structure it in different columns, and you can pick the data points that you want. You know, mm -hmm. so you and can um, mm -hmm. you can you can multi-stack okay. different different aspects here. You can grab an RSI and then a EMA and and do all that kind of stuff to create like a signal of sorts. Absolutely, absolutely. Nice. And this is exactly you know I, I I want to show you. In fact, I think since you pointed that out. Mm -hmm. Let me quickly show you this right now. You know, just a very simple example. And as you can see, I'm starting with a blank sheet, right? Blank sheet. So this is an Excel spreadsheet, right, Anker? This is just an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. And as you see on the top, we have Market XLS, and this is the yep. Market XLS menu, Got right? It. When you click on Search and Help, you would see on the right hand side there would be, uh, you know, a search bar that will show up, which will show you hundreds of functions which can be used, right? So if you type here. Let's say simple moving average. Yep. Or uh, you see this simple moving average, right? So these are mm -hmm. all the functions which are available. So essentially, if you put in your stock tickers here, and let's say this is your SMA, uh, and then you have your last price, right? So you sim you simply type what you're looking for, and that's the best thing. You know, the way we have structured these functions is the way where you don't have to spend a lot of time in finding, you know, what how to right. use it. You know. You start typing what you're looking for, yep. and then you see some indications which Excel can give you. For example, here, simple moving average, you give it a stock ticker. And then the good thing is, you know, as a second argument, you can say, you know what, I don't want SMA 50, I want SMA 29, you know. And when you right. do that, you know, it gets you the number, right? Oh, nice. And then you say, okay, give me the last price as well. So if this is the last price, and, you know, and this is your strategy, and your strategy is, Okay, if, you know, and then you can use normal Excel functions in sure. conjunction with uh, market XLS functions to create your own signals and strategies and, you know, uh, your own trading rules, essentially, you know? Sure. So you could say something like, okay, if the last price is uh, less than you know, the SMA, then I'm short, for example, right? Got it. And else I'm long. Got it. Right? Okay. Something like that, 
right? And mm -hmm. the good thing with Excel is, you know, once you have the stock tickets here, you can simply copy and paste these functions. And it took you just, just you know, it's just so flexible. Right? Sure. Sure. So if, uh, now do you have little tutorials on Excel in here? Like if someone's not very good at Excel, would, would they be able to, to, to navigate? Fairly that's well. a very, very, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. And in fact, for that, what we do is, you see, we made it so easy for our sure. users. And if you see here, yep, these are like examples, right? So if I go to, let's say I'm looking for uh, unemployment rate, for example, right? We have economic data as well. Now look at this. When you search for unemployment rate here, you see these little examples. Yep. Right. When you hover over an example, it tells you what that function does. Got it. Right. Yep. And uh, you click on the function and then you put it here in your Excel. Just copy and paste it like that. Oh, how nice right? is that? Yeah. So, for example, you're looking at unemployment rate. And let's say the first thing is you want to find out what exactly is this data? How does it work? You know, what is the frequency? So you copy that mm -hmm. and put it in your Excel. What this tells you is, okay, this data is unemployment rate. It is seasonally adjusted. Mm -hmm. It is expressed. It, it's updated monthly on a monthly basis. It's expressed as a percent, right? And this was when it was last updated, right? right. Now it. that you have this information, which is kind of the metadata for your data, right? For this uh, data, then you can use, uh, okay, give me last six observations of the unemployment rate, mm -hmm. right? That's how you get it. Right. You could say, OK, you know what? But I don't want last six observation. I just want the last period. So you put in this LP as an argument and mm -hmm. all this is available here. You know, so right. for, for you as a user, you don't have to learn anything, you know, so yeah. it's not uh, you just copy it from here and put it in your Excel. That's Got it. it. OK, awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. But to answer your other, I mean, we do have like uh, extensive documentation as well on our website where, you know, we talk about uh, how you use all these functions and, you know, uh, all the knowledge library. So if you can see here, we mm -hmm. have, you know, the full knowledge library, which explains how do you get options data, crypto data, portfolio, sure. how do you manage your portfolios, track it and templates and those kind of things, you know. Now, let me ask you another question, Anker. Mm -hmm. So once someone's in the uh, Excel spreadsheet, yeah. Okay. Is there is there need or reason to go to your website for anything, or does it all no. exist in the Excel spreadsheet? All Even exists. Your, yeah. The, all all is there in your Excel spreadsheet. You don't have to go anywhere. It is completely secure. And once you up, open the sheet tomorrow, all these numbers will be automatically updated. They can be saved as a snapshot, right? Okay. Because you may want to. And especially that's a, that's a problem which I found with many uh, option traders, you know, and in the meetups and groups that, you know what, your trading platform will show you the current view of your option trade that involves multiple legs, right? Yep. But what if you wanted to track the numbers over the life cycle of that option trade, you know, mm -hmm. with Excel, it's so easy. You simply copy and paste it as values and we have specific, specific templates, you know, yep. which make sure that you are able to take snapshot at various period of time yep. right uh, of your uh, uh, trade basically got it oh this is great so and obviously like excel you can have sheet one sheet two sheet three you can have like yeah, my absolutely. apple spreadsheet my ebay yes. spreadsheet my tesla spreadsheet and then you can have different strategies and ideas in each one of these absolutely and in fact uh, if you look at the templates here right mm -hmm. as a normal user you may not be aware what all strategies are available for valuing a stock, right? Okay. But then the AI driven search functionality that we have given here, mm -hmm. what you do is you type valuation, right? Mm -hmm. And then here you would see all the templates which are available for valuation. You know, you may not be aware that maybe F score is something which is uh, typically used for valuation. You may not even heard of that term, right? Mm -hmm. But the system automatically finds out and all you do is you download the template right and open the template right so when i open the template let me just quickly show you that yeah this one so when you open the template the template not only shows you you know uh yeah. 
what the system does, you know, what that what the F score is about. It educates you about when would you use it, what sure. would be the rationale to use it, you know, and then all you have to do is change the stock ticker here, and then everything else changes. And why nice. does it change? Because you have the functions which are market XLS functions which are implemented in this model, right? You know, uh, for for it to work essentially, right? Yeah. And we do have analysis on the trends, right? So if you go to our website sure. and mm -hmm. if you look at uh, you know some of our pages where we uh, show up, you know, so what we do have some functions which will give you an indication of possible trend. Okay. The stock may be going in, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of uh, uh, not like a forecast forecast, but you know, like uh, you have a normal strategy mm -hmm. where an SMA 50 is above, you know, uh, below the last price, then, you know, sure. the stock is moving up. So we do have some functions which will give you some indications about uh, the mm -hmm. trend of uh, the, the trend of the stock. So recently what we have done, Lex, is we have created uh, our... Uh, many functions which allows you to trade directly from excel i like it and and the key idea is when you're entering trades manually in your trading platform then you know sometimes there may be some errors right you may have and especially when it is like a multi-leg complicated option trade you know right. and uh, and you are doing all your analysis in excel it becomes very very difficult uh you know sometimes you know it could be a costly mistake right and sure. we want to uh, avoid that and to do that we have created you know many functions in excel which helps you fill out the trade ticket directly in your trading platform right and okay. the example that i'm going to show you now is the one which is uh how this is done with tradier Hello, uh, in this particular video, I'm going to show you how some users use the market XLS to trade, manage, and uh, control their option positions using Excel directly and trade from there. Market XLS is a platform which brings in real time data from all stock exchanges for stocks, options, cryptocurrencies, mutual funds, and ETFs directly into your excel spreadsheet and then from there our partner trader allows you to trade directly from market xls excel spreadsheet let's see how so let's say you have a position and i'll condor or spy like so 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 you have these four positions you can manage them Okay, the real-time data like I'm looking at it right now, you can see what your total delta positions are, what your data is. You can bring in a lot of variables for particular options, as you can see from here, and see uh, if you can type in options. You know, this is the uh, website for Market XLS. It tells you for a particular option, there's so many different statistics and data you can get. You can get their trade volume, the share value, the ask price, bid price, previous close, of complete option chain option statistics vega and all kind of weeks in there so you can get all of these values you can bring them in into uh, by adding columns here and then you can analyze based, based on them you can create your own rules on when you want to close the position when you want to close the position you can simply click on this radio link like so and it loads your brokerage platform with the particular option their complete uh, details. For example, in this particular case, we are closing to sell. Uh, this is a, yes, uh, we sold it, so we're going to buy. We're going to buy to close 431. Let's see. Buy to close 431 right here. See that? And similarly, so once you click on it, the whole position is directly loaded into your the trading platform from where you can review it and submit it directly. Uh, you create a trade ticket directly from Excel press a button mm -hmm. it goes to trade your platform fills in all the information very less chances of errors and there you go you know, preview and submit you know let's say you have your tickers here you have the strike mm -hmm. price expiry date you create an option ticker and then you use our functions to grab the individual data points and create a sheet like this you know right. 
for you, for you to be able to track your option contracts. Okay. Right. Let's say there are like thousands of live option contracts for each stock or an ETF mm -hmm. uh, trading in the market all the time. Right. And it's just so much data. You don't want to be looking at everything. Right. You want to be looking at a subset or a sample of uh, options that meet your criteria. Right. And when it comes to Excel, it's very difficult to do. But the fact that we have put in all this effort, you use the function like this one. You know, you simply say, OK, give me the option chain where this is the ticker, where under, this is the underlying ticker. This is the minimum expiry that I'm looking at, maximum expiry, minimum strike price, maximum strike price. Don't give me the ones which have zero volume and don't include the ones which have expired. You know, and I'm only looking at calls. Sure. When you, when you write this kind of a function, it simply creates like a table for you and you okay. immediately narrow down to the option contracts that you are interested in, you know, which meet your criteria. So yeah. Let me ask a question. I like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you create a function that scans for trades that happen or are you not there yet? You know what I mean? So trade just happens. It's 10,000 contracts. And you write a function, show me anything in Apple that's greater than 10,000 contracts. Again, I'm making that up. But we, uh, we that are yet? working. We are working on that. Uh, but cool. we don't have that uh, right now. So we are working on that. We have options, historical, I mean, uh, prices as well. So let's say you're looking at one specific contract, you know, and you want to find out what has been the history on that contract. Mm -hmm. So there is a simple function that you can use to grab the history real quick, you know, with simply writing a function and you get a table which tells you okay the contract started at eight dollars and now it is like one dollar you know mm -hmm. yeah and so you get open high low close in there uh yep, yep. you get open high low close as well and the idea is all these entities and yep. the parameters that you see here on the table they are individually addressable as a function you know so you can simply write a function you know what okay give me uh the real time implied volatility for example sure on a contract you know Oh, nice. So, yeah, you could actually go back and you could create that implied volatility uh, if you want to. Because I, I'm assuming yeah, yeah, yeah. you can pull stock yeah. price and you'll know how much time to expiration because you have an option contract expiry in there. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. We do have some templates as well, which calculate the historical implied volatility as well. Nice. And, uh, you know, and then, of course, this is all so flexible being in Excel that you can do any kind of analysis, essentially, you know, right. And awesome. uh, like theoretical value, there are some other functions as well, which uh, I won't, you know, uh, explain you <laughs> given the time that we have. Yeah. I want to make sure that I give you uh, some of the functions which are pretty common, you know, and one of the common <laughs> use case which we found Lex, was about, you know, just simply getting an option chain, you know, mm -hmm. simply getting an option chain in Excel in a simple table very, very quickly. Right. right. And you yeah. simply use this function called get option chain and you get the list of all the options. Nice. Right. That's great. Yeah. And then you can you type in any ticker to get the new option chain in this? Absolutely. In this Absolutely. In fact, this is something which I want to show you real quick as an example live. You know, so I type in a ticker here. Let me make yep. this a bit bigger. Okay. I type in a ticker here and I say, you know what? Give me the option chain, right? Now you can get all the option contracts, or you could say, you know what, give me only active options or add the money sure. options or in the money option. So let me get the active options on Microsoft, right? Okay. Press and enter, and there you go. Wow, that's awesome. And now what you do is you change the ticker symbol here. Now this function is there. You press enter again, and now you should have uh, Apple options. Nice. Got it. That's great. Okay. Good, and good. And across multiple options, let's say you have multiple stocks, right? And one of the tricky thing is you have a strategy in mind. Let's say you're always looking at contracts which are 5% above the price of the underlying stock and 5% below the underlying stock, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to do this across multiple stocks. So what we do is, you know, we create, we select the ticker symbols here. You go mm -hmm. to market XLS and click on option scanner here, option scanner, right? Mm -hmm. What it does is it loads all the option contracts which are available in this uh, in these two uh, stocks, right? Yep. And they load it into a, this kind of a format. And here you could say, you know what? Give me anything where uh, the, you know, it is 5% above or 5% below the last price. Or you could say, uh, you know what? Give me 
everything which is expiring soon, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, click on OK, and it just filters out the data here. Nice. Right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's the, that's a great uh, trade idea generator too, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, very cool. Good. Wow, you guys have done a lot of work on this. This looks fabulous. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And you guys are um, you're integrated at Trade Your Brokerage. Um, can you talk a little bit about price or any of that sort of thing? How yeah, you... ab absolutely. What we have done is mm -hmm. we have created a special offer for okay. participants of this live stream. And uh, we have created like a coupon code, which is called Options Brew, right? Okay. And uh, if you use that coupon code, coupon code, there is like a 30% subscription discount. Okay. And there are uh, very simple plans, uh, which is uh, advanced, basic, and premium. Most of our uh, viewers here, I would think, would find the advanced plan to be the most suitable sure. because it includes the real-time options pricing, streaming data directly coming from uh, the markets. Okay. And the numbers that they will see, numbers that in Excel that that will show up, they will exactly match your trading platform. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so you are they are like it's all premium tradable data, and along with all the templates and functions and flexibility that I showed you, including you know the trade year subscription, nice, and that all is there in the advanced plan. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That's terrific. That's terrific. And they can find you at marketxls.com. Yes. Uh, the, we'll, the put in the, we'll put in the description in, in the video as well. So that's great. Yep. All Absolutely. right, Ankur. That was awesome. That was uh, that was a lot of stuff, and it was really informative. Um, God, what a great platform. You can get it at Trade of Your Brokerage. Uh, you know, God, come get them, right? Thank you very much, uh, Lex. Really appreciate uh, the, the time. All right. Thank you very much, Lex. You take care. Good talk.